Hello everyone. Welcome to AI Brahma YouTube channel. My name is Ganesh. In this master document automation training series, let's learn how to create a process flow with Copilot form to get an input document from the users. In the previous session, we have learned how to get an input from the Outlook or your folder paths. Example, the SharePoint, Share Drive or OneDrive. So in this session, we are learning how we can create a chatbot kind of copilot form and the user can integrate with any of the SaaS based application to get an input document from the client. So this is what we will learn in this session. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get first notification to you. Without wasting the time, let's dive into the concept. In Automation Anywhere Workbench, let's click on this plus symbol and go to the form section and here you can give a name of the form. Example, in this case, I'm just giving document automation form and create and edit. Once you click on a create and edit, it will open the workbench. In the left hand side, you can see all the layout and elements. You can use it for the form. And in the middle, you can see the workbench. You can just drag and drop whatever the element you needed. And in the right hand side, you have a property panel to configure your beautiful form. So let's consider you want to take a name of the person who is triggering this bot or a trigger, triggering this form. You can take a text box, just drag and drop like this, and you can edit a label like please enter your name right and example you want to take a file from the user right you can take a element called select a file and you can add here drop your file right and also you can add a supported file or okay this is what i'm uploading this is supported file this is unsupported file example user want to upload a pdf but you don't want to take a pdf then you can add in an unsupported file the pdf is unsupported for this particular form so let me take a supported type and add pdf png or jpg like this you can add more you can see here example also you can add one by one using a comma and enable file download if you enable this once the user will upload the file they can download it later so just i'm giving here enable form and you can give a hint also like this you can add a lot of options here like hint top tape and make it as a required field and also the rules sometimes if you want to add a rule right so example once it is uploaded then only the submit button should enable example let's say once after this let me take a uh, the button option and in the button i will say the submit right till the file or till the name is not filled by the user submit button should not be enabled for submit right in that cases you can add a rule example let's say the form rule add a rule here i'm adding please enter your file name is empty in case this is empty then let me add a submit button submit button should be disabled right i'm just adding please enter your name is empty then it should be disabled the same way you can add another option example the submit button uh, please enter your name is having a value let's say Okay, so already we have added a, a value. So that's why it is not coming here. Let me take only one action. So I'm just saving this, right? So once it is saved, your form is created. But this form you have to execute somewhere, right? Example in the task board or the process flow. As part of the document automation demo, we are utilizing a document from the user given, right? Example, user will upload a document in a form which is integrated with any SaaS based application like Salesforce, ServiceNow or their own websites or their Teams channel. If you want to integrate Automation Anywhere Copilot into any of your SaaS based application or a Teams channel, then you have to use a from flow. We call it as process flow. Okay, just click on the process 
and let's add a name document automation R&D process and create it. Once you will create this, it will give you the process flow structure. This we call it as normally copilot form process. So here you have an option called start and the complete. By default, it will come. In the start, you can add your initial form. Example, whatever we have created, that is our initial trigger to run the bot, right? In that cases, you can just go to the start button and here we have an option called form. Just consider a form and browse. In the browse option, you can consider whatever we have created just now. Example, I have created document automation form and choose it. Once it is created, you can add a request title, document automation files, right? And just add a save. So now what is happening here? You have added a trigger. Hey, this is my form. Once the form is submitted, my process flow will start in the back end, right? And after that, you can add any of the bots or a form or approval, everything. Okay, so just for the particular demo purpose, let's add only the start and complete. Then we will add so many options, whatever we have here. And let me start run this. Whenever you start run this particular process, you will see the copilot form like this. And here, if you see whatever we have added, the please enter your name in the form, right? That is showing here. And if you remember, we have added a rule that if your name is empty, then submit button should not be enabled, right? So that's why the submit button is disabled in this case. So if I enter something like this and take a browse and take any of the file or something, right? Then our submit button should enable. In that case, what we can do is, we can add a, another rule that submit button should enable once after you enter the information. So example, for that purpose, let me go back here, close, and let's say uh, go back to our form. And in the form, and here we have added a form rule. Uh, the please enter your name. If it is empty, then disable. The same way, another rule you can add it. The rule should be like if the rule please enter your name is not empty, means someone is writing something, right? Then submit button should enable, right? So, like this, you can add uh, so many rules here then only the submit button will be enabled for the submitting the process. So example, so now I have added the information into the document automation form. Let's go back to the process flow and just try to run once again in the copilot. Basically, the copilot is your process flow. Whenever you trigger the bot from the copilot uh, process, so it will navigate to your copilot. If you see here, this is a, the window name called automation copilot, right? So now if I enter something, your submit button is enabling. If I remove everything, submit button is disabling. So like this, you can add a rules and you can take a information from the user with validation. You can add a lot of things like date should be between this two range or date should not be the, the future date, right? Because date of birth should not be the future date. Or you can add a rule like whoever entering this particular application, right? Their, their age should be minimum 18 years. If they are entering 2020 or something as a date of birth, it should not allow. It should show as, hey, your date of birth is this and you are not eligible to go uh, to this website or go to this uh, website trigger, right? So this is what we can build in this automation copilot form. I hope you have understand this concept. We will include this process flow in document automation concept to get information from the user like documents, files or PDFs, anything. And we will build a beautiful document automation end to end process flow. If you are having any question or any confusion, please comment on this video comment section. It will be very helpful for everyone. Happy learning. Go be great.